Hi everybody! This week for our preschool at home we're doing Halloween activities and I wanted to get this up as soon as I could so that you can get any ideas too. So this is what it looks like all set up and then I will show you through each activity. And my son is in here and he's playing with one of the activities right now so you might hear him every once in a while. Okay, so first I have all of our Halloween books that we own just kind of displayed along the shelf here. And so we will just read those whenever we can. And then I want to mention that I have a bunch of activities that are still in the package. These are things that I bought last year after Halloween during, you know, the holiday clearance. So a lot of this stuff I got at Target. Um maybe the 99 cent store uh, from, like I said, after the holiday when they go on clearance, when they're at 50, 70, and 90% off, I get great deals and I grab as much as I can so that we can play the next year. So that's what we're going to be playing with now. So to start with, we have these painting kits here. They are wood, paint your own, whoops. These are wooden painting kits. So we have a spider and a witch, and then they come with these colors here. So one for each boy. I don't know how much I paid for them, but they were cheap. And then we also have these two masks. So we have a mummy and Frankenstein. So at some point we will make those as well. In this first section here, I am going to be using these Dollar Tree ghost balloons and they also came with little glue glue sticks Glow sticks that you can put inside of them that way they're glow in the dark But for what I'm going to use them for right now or at least some of them. I have one right here um, I am going to be using the skeleton hand Salad tongs and I cannot find the other one. We were playing last night, and I don't have a clue what they did with them um, But here's one and so all we're going to do is use the hands to hit the balloon back and forth to each other. Very simple, but while we're doing it, I want to see how many times we can hit it before it touches the ground. And so my goal is for us to get up into the teen numbers, 12, 13, 14, all of those, um, to work with especially Michael, my five-year-old, on counting in the teens. Um, so hopefully we can hit it that many times before it touches the ground. But that's going to be my goal with this activity. Nice and simple, but it'll get the job done. And then I have these um, spatulas. I got them from the 99 cent store a couple of years ago. And I've never really known what to do with them. Like I said, I got them for like about 10 cents each. And so I grabbed them, but didn't have a plan for them. And part of me had always thought I would use them in paint, that way we can just kind of stamp, but I don't really want to ruin them. So, give it, give it please. I want it. Okay, hold on. Um, so what I came up with is we're going to do it with the balloons, and we're going to have a bit of a relay race. So, hold on, let me back the camera up for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is balance the balloon on the spatula, and I was doing it a while ago, so I know we can do it, and then do a bit of a relay race. Each of them will have one on whichever spatula they have, and we will go like up and down our hallway or something and see um, you know, who can get to the other side the quickest without dropping their balloon. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I came up with. Okay, for the next activity... I have this piece of cardboard cut in a circle and then I painted it. I just painted it so it's still wet. But for Halloween we're doing a bunch of ghost activities. We're going to do the letter G is for ghost. And so um, this is still wet like I said. And then I have, oh my gosh Aiden, he's playing with the balloon. Okay, so I have inside this little tiny cauldron. Um, I have a couple of these and a couple of pumpkins that I got from my mother-in-law. We just kind of got them. Um, and so inside of it, I have these cupcake picks. These came from the Dollar Tree, again, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And so what I'm going to have him do, <clears throat> sorry, is he's going to just poke them along the picture of the ghost here inside the uh, cardboard. 
So that's the plan with that one. On the next shelf here, we have a tray. These are the pumpkins I was talking about. We just kind of had them. And so they open up. And so what I did was I put white Play-Doh and black Play-Doh in each one. Hopefully they won't dry out in here. If they do, whatever. But anyway, and then these are some, I think they're supposed to be used for like cookies to put a picture in your cookie. Uh, so we have the jack-o'-lantern, a moon and a bat, the cat and a witch. And I'm just gonna have them use these with the Play-Doh. And then in this container, I have, again, a couple of these containers. They came three for a dollar at the 99 cent store a couple of years ago. And I've just used them every year. So this one has ghosts on it. And then what I have inside are some white beans. Um, and on not all of them because it was taking forever, but on some of them, I tried to make them look like a ghost. So I just put dots on some of them. So if you can see in here, anyway, these are our ghost little sensory bin. And so I just got a little tiny spoon and he's just going to scoop them and put them inside of this cauldron. So it's just a scooping activity, but they really like this. We've done this a couple of years now. All right, now let me show you inside of the drawers. So for our language drawer here, we have these um, Halloween movement cards. So swoop like an owl, roll like a pumpkin, march like a mummy, so on and so forth. And so this is just a fun little activity and I will find the link to this. It's been, we've had these for a couple of years, so I will have to try and find it again. Um, but I will have that down in the description box. We have this little printable book says what the little ghost saw on Halloween. So it's just a cute little story. We have a file folder game in here, um, just Halloween words. So I will take these off and have them in a container and then they'll just have to go through and match these. The pictures on the back are black and white. And so they'll just have to go through and match the pictures. And then this is a Halloween activity book. We tried this last year, I believe, and we just never finished. So we're just gonna go through, you can see we've already done a little bit here. Whoops. And we will just go through and do the sticker activities that are here. So this is, you know, making jack-o'-lantern faces. This is a maze with something. Oh my God, all the stickers are coming out. Anyway, you get the point. So we will go through this and um, try to finish that. For a math activity, again, I made this a couple of years ago and I got these Halloween erasers from the Target Dollar Spot. And so I just went through and tried to draw my own version of each of the erasers and then he will just uh, graph, you know, where they go. Like so. And he'll go all the way across. Okay, this next activity is also a math activity. And so I got out our orange ice cube tray. We've had this for a few years. We use it every year. And so I saw the purple alphabet do an activity. Uh, she just did a Halloween video recently. And she had the uh, little eyeball, like ping pong balls. And she used her little scoop just like this to scoop them in there. And so I wanted to do something similar, but I don't have the eyeballs. So I got out my tool and my tray, and then I made some pumpkins out of these baby food pouch lids. So all I did was gather our orange pumpkin lids, or our orange lids, and I put some green pipe cleaners on there to try and make them look like pumpkins. And so what we will do is mix these all up. And I've kind of done this activity before. Let me find a smaller number. Hold on. There we go, four. Mix them all up and then he will go through and whichever one he draws, he'll have to gather that. So four. And it is a little tricky. All right, so there's four. And then we can go to the next one. How many do we need to add to make five? We just need one more. There we go. So forth and so on. Okay, for art, I have several things in here. We have some Halloween foam stamps that I'm pretty sure came from the 99 cent store a couple of years ago. 
And then I have this coloring and activity book. I am not sure. Okay, Target dollar spot. So I must have gotten this last year. And so I will have to try and figure out a way to keep the boys from fighting over it because I only have one. But there's several activities in here. Looks like a lot of fun. And then I just have some random stickers. These came from the 99 cent store. So we just have some foam glittery ones and then these um, holographic type pumpkin ones. So that's kind of just a free for all. They can do what they want. And then for sensory activities, we have these grow pumpkins. We will put them in probably today when Michael gets home and then we will see how long it takes for them to grow and how big they get. And then I just recently got these if you saw one of my mom hauls. And so they are the spooky excavation kits. So we just have two like graves here. And these are the different creatures that we will find. And then I'm planning on also doing a sensory bin with our Dollar Tree uh, water beads. I figured it would just be fun to feel them and we could, if we wanted to, we could pretend that they were eyeballs or all squishy and gross, you know, I don't know. But since they're rainbow colored, that probably wouldn't work. But I just thought it would be fun. All right, almost done. Now we have fine motor activities. So to start with, we will do our Halloween lacing cards. And I believe I got these last year at the Target dollar spot. So just a few different pictures here. And then let me show you the next activity on the floor. Okay, for this activity, I have another one of these containers. The spiders have rubbed off, but <laughs> inside we have a bunch of rings. So we have the spiders, we have bats, and we have skulls. And I got these, that, sorry, that didn't focus, but I got these at Dollar Tree last year, I believe. And so I just made this little fishing hook out of a wooden dowel from Dollar Tree, put some washi tape around it, and then a paper clip. Really easy. And so they will go fishing for a ring, and then they will sort them into this tray. So using this tray again, and I just found some Halloween stickers for the spider, the bat, and the skull. And so they will just go through and try and fish for a ring and then put them where they go. So I got a whole bunch that time. And it is harder than it looks. Come on. There we go. I got something. All right. So then they will grab it and then they will sort them where they go. All right. Next in our memory and logic drawer, we just have a couple of games. So at the Target dollar spot or from Target clearance last year, I found this tic-tac-toe game and it's a ghost. And then this is all felt pieces. So we have felt cats and felt jack-o'-lanterns and so they play tic-tac-toe that way and it is quite adorable and then we have this game from last year we used this last year and this is from Dollar Tree and I think they still have it I think I remember seeing it when I was there recently and so this is just a paper mat and then we have these little sticky spiders at least I hope they still stick like I said I got this last year um, but you would just drop them from a certain height and see where it lands and try to get as many points as you can. And we had a lot of fun with this last year, so that's why we held on to it instead of throwing it away. Um, but if they end up not being very sticky anymore, then I will just see if I can go get another one because I really liked this one. All right, so there's all of our activities. I know it's a lot, but some of them are kind of one-time use only, like the painting kit, the masks, the grow the pumpkin thing it's like you can only use it once and then you're done for the rest of the week so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of activities um, to choose from and I hope they gave you guys plenty of ideas if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you guys next time thank you